I, again, I think instead of trying to pick stocks or pick diamonds in the rough, I, I think you have to go with the overall sentiment. And right now for my market, the NASDAQ market, there's a lot of weakness and it shows until we... Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another uh, edition of uh, the access uh, nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So there was definitely uh, a tale of uh, two markets. We'll obviously cover uh, Tesla in a second. Uh, number one, yesterday we had this really, really big rally uh, off the bottom. But again, like we talked about last night's video, it wasn't the question of can there be uh, big spikes in the market while we're still on the supply. We have uh, a lot of evidence in the last you know several months while we're on the supply that there can be. The question was, can the bulls reclaim the 50-day moving average today uh, on the queues and start building into higher levels? And we got that answer uh, fairly quickly. Uh, this morning, uh, Netflix, last night's catalyst, got destroyed. It was down you know, 30%, and, and that was, I mean, an unbelievable move. I, I, first of all, I wanna congratulate uh, for all you guys who did uh, have uh, Netflix uh, puts all over the place, 320s, the 310s, the 307.50s. They were very, very obvious yesterday, well, not obvious, excuse me, they were, they were very uh, bet heavily yesterday. And, uh, you know, the stock got absolutely destroyed, uh, traded down to the 212 area. Um, you started seeing throughout the day some more short-term expiration. I, look, I, you have to believe, if the, even if there is, a dead cat bounce in uh, Netflix in the next uh, couple of days. You, you know, you have to assume eventually it's going to take out that 212 earnings low and start drifting under uh, the $200 level. Just a simple destruction. And, and the one thing I, I will say, last night when you saw some of the equity prices when I was recording the video, you saw last night you had, you had Tesla uh, down all the way down to 1015. Amazon was down. Uh, Amazon was down to uh, 3020. You had all these stocks getting really hurt. You know, uh, Nvidia was down to 217 last night. And when you woke up this morning, you saw a completely different story. A lot of these stocks we're going green and you say, hey, you know, maybe there is going to be uh, a day two into the queues. The problem was, and this is, you know, if you, if you look at one of my very first tweets on my regular account, and I said, what well, the biggest problem, well, I'm just kind of paraphrasing now, but the biggest issue why the open is gonna be tricky because the bulls and the bears are opening up right at the 50 day moving average supply. So whatever was our support right on the way down now becomes our supply. And basically anybody who had no knowledge that the bulls were and the bulls and the bears were gonna about to have a, 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 a UFC death match at the 50 day moving average, if you got long anything at the open today, you got destroyed. I mean, absolutely destroyed. Uh, no matter what stock it was, you got punished. They sold off everything, right? Amazon, Netflix, Tesla, uh, you name it, they sold it. And it was a very, very uh, aggressive pull down. And at the same time, you had the, 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 the Dow moving up, you know, led by uh, IBM. You know, a IBM had a, a really, really nice quarter. You got after the close, you got airlines. Um, was it airlines, UAL, what the hell is the symbol? Yeah, UAL, you got airlines moving up. So you have a, a good test of the market. And the question is, what do you consider the market, right? Uh, for years and years and years, people uh, always turn to the Dow Jones and call it quote unquote the market. For me, it's the NASDAQ 100. So the fact that the, that the, the Dow was up 300 points, uh, for me, it's more important that I know the NASDAQ uh, was, down, uh, was down 165. And, and that's kind of where the market is. So the question is, what happens next? Uh, after the close, obviously the big, uh, the big discussion was Tesla. Uh, you know, pretty good quarter. Uh, you have Elon Musk speaking in the conference call, which I thought was a normal thing, considering the founder and the uh, and and the headpiece and the talk piece of the company is going to be at the, at the conference call. I think that's kind of a big deal. Uh, so he's going to be there. Uh, stock is having a pretty good move uh, after hours, but here's the here's the most important part. It's still kind of in this range here. I think one of these ranges, uh, and again, right now it's trading closer to the upper range uh, on the daily range after market than it is to the lower range. But you can see here, it stopped at the lower range regular session. They sold it up 50, and now the stock is up uh, eight, is up net net about 58 points 
uh, from pillar to post. But again, the key for Tesla, number one, is going to be the conference call. But number two is to finally get above this whole channel here. And if it can start getting above the daily channel, they were coming for, you know, the, the, the 1050 weeklies today with size, with absolute size, uh, seven, eight hundred thousand, two million, one point five, really, really aggressive numbers. Uh, being put on the board. So obviously the big question is, is the market uh, going to embrace these numbers and push them forward on the surface? Uh, pretty good numbers. And again, you know, you don't need to sit there on social media debating uh, with some random stranger, Tesla sucks, Tesla's great, Tesla sucks, Tesla's great. Who cares? Nobody cares about our opinions. It's either, either going to take out the top of the range here or it's going to get rejected again and go toward the bottom of the range, which should almost uh, cleared out in a regular session, but so far so good. Uh, so far so good. You can see big, big, strong uh, move on Tesla after hours, and hopefully by the time you are uh, watching this video, maybe it will clear it and the stock will propel uh, to higher prices. But other than that, from a macro point of view, again, you have to be, you know, you, you can't be really happy if you're the bulls, right? I mean, yet you, you have now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days underneath the 50-day moving average. They had a chance. Uh, they had a chance today to reclaim the 50-day moving average and got stuffed right at the open. I mean, the big number here, they, they have to close and have to reclaim uh, that 348, at least 347, but 347, 348 level on the close for at least the bulls to have a puncher's chance to get back uh, into higher levels. Uh, some names that we talked about last night did pretty well. Calm. Right, you know these these are not test stocks, but you know Calm did pretty well. You had Zimmer Holdings we talked about last night, right? Look at Z ZBH. So you could see that you could see that the non Nasdaq names doing really really well. And if you are a believer in the overall market that it is, a, a, it's not a stock market anymore. It's an individual place for stocks. Then you can definitely be picky or choosing. There is obviously strength and both weakness. Uh, on both sides of the aisle. And again, that's what's cool about trading. Not everybody needs to be in the same trade. Not everybody needs to trade exactly the same way. Pick your style, stick to your style, but more important, stick to the rules that make your style um, uh, worthwhile doing and make sure uh, you continue to have an edge. But again, when you look at a lot of uh, the NASDAQ names, uh, the growth state names, they're, they're getting hammered. I mean, look at these charts. You know, you got you got letter U. I, you know, these are these are some names I really like for tomorrow. If we continue to go lower, and, and again, I don't know if it's going to be enough for Tesla to propel these stocks higher. Right now, you know, the Qs are up about a buck and a half uh, after the close because you know uh, Tesla's having a, a pretty good run. But you don't know if it's going to propel, right? You know, you got letter U looking like garbage. You got um, let me give you some names I, I like for tomorrow. Uh, let me give you guys some names that I like for tomorrow. Um, Letter U, I like to the downside. Uh, look at Square. Square is, you know, Square is also one day away from getting hit. Look at a name like Shopify, right? Look at Shopify. You know, this thing closed underneath the Bollinger Band. Look at the video. They were coming for short term, right? Look at the chart on the video here, just basing out here. Uh, they were coming for short term 205, 200 puts. I mean, this is. You know, this looks this look doesn't look bad you know doesn't look good so the most important part is I, I, again I think instead of trying to pick stocks or pick diamonds in the rough I, I think you have to go with the overall sentiment and right now for my market the Nasdaq market there's a lot of weakness and it shows until we reclaim the 50-day moving average it, it's gonna be very very hard to get excited about the macro move of all the stocks instead of one look at look at either also NET NET looks terrible right the only thing that's saved it today uh, was this linear regression line obviously any move tomorrow on uh, on Netflix going green to red you know, it should at least follow through five to 10 points, you would have to imagine. So, you know, we're definitely set up. Obviously, Tesla will be uh, taking up a lot of my time tomorrow. Number one, it's my favorite stock. But number two, it's my favorite stock. Uh, so it doesn't make a difference which way it goes. But more important, it's going to make sure it goes that way organically and test levels. And again, the most important part is the upper channel here or the lower part of here. Something has to give. It's stuck here in this channel for seven days in a row. And if earnings are going to be the catalyst, then earnings should propel uh, Tesla to higher prices. So that's it, right? we got a tale of two markets. Uh, you have some really good names that are consumer cyclical, um, different names in the, on the New York Stock Exchange that could be your cup of tea. 
and there's a lot of weakness in the Nasdaq, we will obviously see if Tesla could finally get him through. If not, we will probably see a lot more selling uh, going into tomorrow's session. So again, pick what you want to trade, stick to, stick to your goals, uh, stick to your process, but more important part is don't deviate and don't prostitute your money. Wait for the A plus setup and that A plus setup will do great things for you. Guys, God bless everybody. God bless. God bless everybody. God bless and God bless and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.